Okay, so it's been like over two months since I did my last gaming video and I'm sorry about that. Um, the reason I didn't do a lot of game updates is because I'm going to move to another country really soon, like in two weeks. So I don't really have a lot of money to buy games all the time. So that's why this update is like two months apart from the other one. I have some nice new things. Um, if my next game update would be again this long from my from this video I guess then I will do some different gaming stuff as well um, I got electroplankton on the DS for example and maybe I would do like a little gameplay thingy of that you know little stuff like that because I really don't want to keep my gaming videos so far apart because I really like doing them so um, I will show you everything I got uh, ever since I made my last update um, I will start with the Wii and work my way down to the NES. I have a, a few rare things, I guess. First game has only one on the Wii. Um, Crystal Chronicles, the, the Crystal Bearers. Holy shit, this game looks so good. Um, besides the fact that it looks good, the only negative point for now, I guess, is the voice acting. It's a little bit disappointing, but... I can't tell you guys much else because I haven't played it a lot yet. But it looks really good. And on the DS, I have two games, um, Dragon Ball Origins, uh, which cost me 8 euros, the Final Fantasy thingy was uh, 42, by the way, it was new. This one was new as well, um, for 8 euros. This is so faithful to the manga, I mean, they kept the nudity in there, and the bloody noses and everything, and the gameplay is pretty good, the music is very well done, um, I like it. Then, uh, like I said, uh, Electroplankton. Um, why the fuck is this game so expensive in America? I've seen it go for like 80 euros. What the fuck is up with that? So, I did not get this from America. Um, I bought it in, um, from Holland. Um, second hand, but I couldn't really care less for this game. Uh, it cost me 20 euros with the shipping. And I even remember seeing it in the store uh, a few months or weeks ago for 10 euros completely new and sealed why is this game so expensive in america what is i don't know whatever um i like it um you pick it up you play it for like half an hour to an hour if you're really sucked up in the game but it's good it, it has like 10 different uh, games you can play 10 different styles of games but only three or four are really worthwhile playing but it's good i i'm glad that i finally bought it and Nintendo 64 uh, one cartridge only Star Wars Episode 1 Racer um, it's been a while since I wanted this game because I had a demo for it before it came out like a beta version or whatever you want to call it and I loved it but I never really bought it up to them because I didn't feel like spending a shitload of money for it so I got it for only a few bucks I also bought uh, Complete in box. The box isn't in very good condition, but I oh know I can live with it. Um, Earthworm Gem 3D. My main problem with it, but it was kind of obvious with N64. I like the N64, but there are only a few games where it really uses the graphics. And I loved Earthworm Gem on the SNES, but because it was really difficult and it looked good and was funny, and this downgraded everything a little bit. But I still like the game. 1080 snowboarding um, also completed box really nice condition everything um, wasn't that expensive either just like the open gym um, that was one 1080 that I absolutely loved and I thought it was this one but it wasn't um, I'm thinking it might be the one on the GameCube but it's not Avalanche so it should be the one before Avalanche and after this one I guess so, but nonetheless, um, I really like it. Um, it's really easy to control everything. And it looks pretty nice. Next, on the Nintendo 64, I asked this one as a birthday present for my little brother. Um, it's Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong on the SNES is like my favorite game ever on the SNES. Well, it's not my favorite on the SNES, but one of the... It looks so good and the music was incredible. I haven't played it yet, only tested it to see if it works. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna give me, a, a, even if it's like only 5% of what the Super Nintendo gave me in atmosphere, then I'm already happy with it. 
but I've been playing it a little bit and I love it so far. And it's Donkey Kong, you know, you need Donkey Kong. Next up is SNES. Um, I want uh, five games. Um, the thing is, they were 50 cent each and they were three for one euro. And yeah, I bought five. Oh no, I'm an idiot. Whatever. Sue me. Um, I bought this one twice. Just it's the first game I ever bought, so that I could sell them again. Um, Star Fox, because you know, for fifty cents, I know I can get more out of it. Then there is um, GP One. I just bought these games because they were fifty cents. So um, it's fun, but for Super Nintendo, it's what the fuck? It's really disappointing. Um, NBA Jam and wait, yes, NBA Jam and NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Um, I haven't even tried the Tournament Edition. I think I still have to do that. But the NBA Jam is with my oldest brother. One of my favorite game multiplayer games on the SNES. Um, uh, sport games, I should say, because I don't like a lot of sport games. But this is fun. It's really good. I have three import games on the SNES, um, two Japanese one and one American one. American one is Super Mario World. It's the first game I bought together with my girlfriend, so it's our first game I guess. And who doesn't like Super Mario World? And I still didn't have it and complete unbox for now is too expensive so I'll keep it with that. Then um, the Great Battle 2 uh, which is Japanese, I played it for a little while, it gets boring pretty fast, it looks funny and if you're a fan for the Gundam stuff and everything, um, it's good but it lacks a lot in gameplay. Um, Dragon Ball Z, um, Budokai, Budokan, something, uh, 2, um, Gohan, Teen Gohan and Cell Saga, uh, second saying whatever is my favorite character of Dragon Ball which is the reason why I bought it but the third game, the third Dragon Ball fighting game is still the best in my opinion. 8 NES games. Nicklaus, uh, Jack Nicklaus, golfing, whatever, it's a bad game, it's a bad golfing game, I don't have a care much for it. Um, Trojan, I, ha I haven't been able to test these games yet because my NES is messed up, I need a new 72 connector pin in order to test them. Um, Probotector, it's been a long time since I wanted that game, that is a good game, I know. And, um, Pinball and Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew is one I've been looking for for a long time already. I love it. It's one of the three, I think it's three programmable series. Now the only one I'm still missing is Mag Rider. Then I have three in box. Two only wet box without the booklet. It's Lolo 2. Uh, I've been looking for that one for a while too. I got it really cheap for like 6 euros or something with the box. And Ninja Gaiden 2 also for 6 euros. And finally, <laughs> holy fuck. Um, Bionic Commando, I know I already have it like two or three times, but it's complete with the box. I had to throw my box away when, no I didn't, my mom threw it away I think when I was a kid. So I already wanted it again, and it's one of my 10 favorite games on the NES. Well, it's my all time favorite game on the NES, so I wanted it complete in box, as complete as I can find. But I wanted the Pell Art version, because I love the Pell Art version, it is so beautiful. And you guys, I'm not gonna believe this, but you can see it, it doesn't even bend. It's the plastic is in there, the booklet, this thing is fucking complete and boxed. I mean, it's probably been opened only once. This thing is, besides the plastic around it, it's like fucking factory sealed. And the best thing is, it only cost me 15 bucks. I mean, this is like one of the gems you find once in the store, everything. I need to remove the tickets still, but I want to take my time with that. It still has the 450 euro franc, um, 1 euro is 6 franc or something, I ain't gonna calculate it for you guys, but I mean this thing went like from the store, it didn't sell, they put it in the second hand store and it didn't move. The plastic is around the game, this is probably like, if you can find this factory seal, then that's the only better edition worldwide I think, because holy shit man. So, that was it, I gotta cut it down now, I even have to edit it a little bit. Um, I hope you guys liked the update, um, I promise I will do more videos uh, gaming related, because two months, damn, I'm sorry man, I will try to, you know, keep the spaces a little bit less distant than two months, because I really didn't like doing that, so I might do a little thing different here and there, so, until next time, 
stereo.